Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this phone case, I'm going to be using this clear plastic phone case. My phone is an iPhone 6s, I think. It's pretty old. It's a dinosaur in today's standards, but that's okay because I don't think that everybody has like the newer iPhone. So this design can be applied to any phone case that you have. But I'm going to be painting this with white acrylic paint. Feel free to paint it with spray paint. I actually made a review on like a white spray paint, but I prefer to paint it like this. It relaxes me a lot more. Then I'm going to be drawing my like diamond shapes. First, I'll just mark a dot in the middle. That is going to be like where the center of this is going to be. Dragging a four centimeter long line and the dot is going to be in the middle in centimeter number two. Just keeping my pencil on the middle part, I'm going to be dragging three centimeters line across this, turning this into a cross. So to make this a uh, diamond shape, I'm just going to be tracing four lines. And so this is like my base. I'm just going from here and I'm going to be tracing four lines to turn this into a like diamond shape like so, connecting those lines. Now this is where it kind of gets a bit trickier. So remember that my diamond shape is three centimeters wide. So I'm just going to be marking three centimeters from those lines. Hopefully by looking at what I'm doing, it makes more sense than me trying to explain it. But basically all my diamond shapes need to be three centimeters wide. So they all look the same. And I'm working with the sizes for like four centimeters high, three centimeters uh, wide, because I want my diamond shapes to be on the bigger side. If you want to make them smaller just to work with less centimeters in my opinion they look better if they're bigger but that's personal preference and yeah i'm pretty much doing that marking with my three centimeters r and then just connecting those dots and again hopefully it's not like super confusing i'm showing you step by step here so you can kind of see how i draw them then I'm going to be painting like every other diamond shape with my black acrylic paint and this brush. Now this is like a flat brush that is tiny and that I don't even know what this is for. Maybe it's like for painting like eyeliner. I never use it for that. I just saw it and I thought it was perfect for this kind of thing. Going with this brush as close to the line as I can. And then for the edges, I'm going to be using this other brush. I didn't make it myself. I just have a DIY showing you where I got it from. For delicate edges and stuff, like pointy stuff, it's pretty handy. So yeah, I'm just going to be painting every other diamond shape like this. And then of course I made a lot of mistakes along the way because I'm painting this by hand and I'm only human, I just shake a lot sometimes, especially with like like straight lines like this. But don't worry if you make mistakes too, you can erase them going back with your watercolor paint and just a detail brush, dragging the paint as close to the edge of those lines as you can. And here I'm just showing you how I painted the ones on the edges, which in my opinion were the like the trickiest ones to paint because you have like a lot less space and you need to be precise with it. Then I'm going to be painting the edges with my gold acrylic paint and my two brushes. The one that I used before with that one, I'm going to be covering the uh, edges on the front part of my phone case. Taking my time here and being really delicate because I don't want to paint the actual front of the phone case and ruin all that work. And then with the bigger one where I don't need to be as like cautious, I'm going to be painting the edges and the front part. Finally, I'm going to be adding some gloss. This is the one that I'm using. I just forgot to show you the clip of me showing you it. This is the phone case that I wanted to share with you. I love it. I am obsessed with it. I know it's not perfect, doesn't look like printed, but I still like it anyways. To me, black and white diamond shape anything with a bit of gold in there. It's just so classic and I love it. It's like vintage. But yeah, hopefully you like this as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this. Check out the other phone cases that I have. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!